Kololo Independence Ground was bathed in yellow as crowds of interim supporters gathered to celebrate the legacy and achievements of President Nurem Seveni, the party's national chairperson. Clad in yellow attire and waving flags bearing the president's image, they sang and danced, chanting songs in praise of their leader. The event attracted a diverse array of dignitaries, including cultural and religious leaders, as well as senior government officials. Guests were treated to a variety of entertainment throughout the celebration. President Seveni arrived close to 1 p.m. amidst a heavy rainfall. While many braved the rain, others sought shelter from the downpour. Addressing the supporters, Rosemary Seninde, the party's director for mobilization, explained the significance of the celebration. We want to depart from the practice of Basimo Genzi. Today we all gather here to show gratitude to the almighty God who gave you to us as a gift of a leader. She highlighted some of Prism 70's achievements, including fostering peace and security in Uganda and the Great Lakes region and advancing women's empowerment, among others. Your Excellency, we cannot forget the democracy and good governance. Your leadership provided an environment for freedom of association and speech that has enabled Ugandans to associate and belong to different political ideologies. We thank you for the Vice President. We thank you for the Prime Minister. We thank you for the ministers, the women ministers. And members have called and petitioned the party to request you to offer yourself to contest again in 2026 general election. Speaking further on achievements, Tadong underscored developments in various sectors under President Seveni's leadership. You have built health centers in all these sub-counties and districts. Our population is healthy. We thank you. We celebrate you. The First Lady and Minister for Education and Sports, Janet Museveni, expressed gratitude to God for blessing Uganda with a visionary leader like President Museveni. And then, thank the President for being faithful to God and being steadfast to lead the national resistance movement which has really laid a foundation for the transformation of our homeland. In his address, President Seveni warned against foreign interference and opposition groups that he accused of attempting to destabilize the country. There are people who think they can disturb Uganda. They, they go to the embassies. I know which embassies they go to. Go there, drink coffee, eat pancakes and so on, and they are given money by embassies, foreigners. I want to assure Ugandans that we cannot allow people to disturb our peace, given all this. Reaffirming the government's commitment to fighting corruption, President Seveni lamented challenges in the education sector, which have hindered plans for universal free education. It seems the people in the Ministry of Education and the Ministry of Finance have been sending captation grant for ghosts. Therefore, if we close all those loopholes, we can provide free education for the children in the government schools. During the celebration, the President received various gifts donated in appreciation of his leadership. Addressing NRM supporters that gathered here at Kololo Independence Grounds, President Seveni said that NRM has done well. However, it can do better if all the existing gaps are addressed. He also challenged the supporters to encourage all members of the public to engage in wealth creation. I'm Benjamin Jumbe reporting for NTV here at Kololo.